Welcome to another Halloween special from yours truly. If you remember last year, we had, we went ahead and did uh, Death Mark. And uh, this year, what I have for you all is the spooky, scary, spiritual sequel, NG. Also known as Spirit Hunter Volume 2. Now, uh, this is certainly a lot wordier than the last, uh... Than, than Deathmark was, but uh, it's still got plenty of scares. I mean, you can tell right off the bat that there's a scary effects mode. <laughs> you got three different versions of how scary you want the game to be. Oh my god. Are we gonna go straight up to 11? Or 3, I guess. Well, the game still is scary, but this is like, you know, uh, doing like jump scares and like extra little little just you know, screams to make it uh, really extra scary. You can turn them off if you're really nervous, or you can... <laughs> well, what do you think we're going to do? We're oh, gonna do come scary on. Scary mode. mode. Scary mode, Jeez. obviously. It's Halloween, for Christ's sakes. Come on. You better be posting these at 8 o'clock at night. Oh, you know it. Oh, hey, it's you and me. <laughs> <laughs> right, let's go. Oh, let's go. Another round, buddy. Whoa there, sir. Just take one step at a time. Sir, this <laughs> is an Arby's. What? <laughs> hey, you get drunk on that three pepper sauce, you know? <laughs> Chase it with that horseradish. Ah, oh, you're done for the night. I love horsey! Uh. I've always loved nightlife and cityscapes in Japanese cities. We're gonna have to go there one day. We are. Maybe after the apocalypse. And this is us. We are a hooded youth. Is this a protagonist of Final Fantasy 16? <laughs> I, th I think we just stopped being a senior in high school, or we're just about to... Uh... You know, I kind of wish the ultra scary mode would go all out and just randomly, when it makes no sense, just be like, that! Well, if you just do that, then it's not going to be that scary because it's like, oh, I wonder what's going to happen. <laughs> oh, I knew that was going to happen. <laughs> if you keep things up at 11 all the time, it'll just be boring. It'll become the new normal. It'll become but a right new, new Right now, we got, we, got, we got a bit of an issue. This, uh, this, this poor young lady is uh, getting harassed by this, uh, ugh, a literal shady looking motherfucker. <laughs> a fat mop. <laughs> it says mohawk, but nah. It's more like a paintbrush. It's a weak mohawk he's got there. Mohawk's looking a little flaccid, bruh. If that's a mohawk, my ponytail is a mullet. <laughs> I mean, you know, she's in a place like this where salarymen get drunk all the time and she dresses like this. She's... She's bound to get attention, I mean. Oh, shit. She saw us. Now, I would love it if it was the protagonist's fault the random jump scares happened. Like, he's the one that sends <laughs> Halloween scares to people. I wonder what's in this box. I probably shouldn't open it. Ah! Oh, well, I knew that was going to happen. <laughs> it's a surprise every time. Ah, I like this strategy. Yes, it's a great strategy. All of you young people at home, please use this strategy. But it's not really working. Damn it! Ah, damn it. Oh, oh boy. He's getting mad. Well, he said Harry, and I just looked at his ponytail mohawk, and I was just like, yeah. Great, and he's fucking Yakuza, too. Oh, imagine that. Yeah, great. Next, he's going to be drop kicking us into the next county. <sighs> then Yen flies out everywhere. <laughs> and then we'll just go disco dancing and forget about it. <laughs> exactly. You know, you got to settle. Shut the fuck up. 
<laughs> Another great thing about uh, NG compared to Deathmark is that the, ca the character models are far more expressive. In Deathmark, you only had two faces. Here, you've got like at least five. Oh, thank God. So now it's time to select our appearance. We've got normal, we've got uh, glasses, we've got beard, and we've got glasses and beard. And seeing as a guy I wear glasses and beard, I will go with glasses and beard. I just thought he messed up your face so bad you had to do like a Commander Shepard reconstruction. <laughs> <laughs> I really like this protagonist because he is just a give no fucks, you know, fucking scrappy motherfucker. I like the music going on right now. Oh yeah. It's like not only are we going to kick this guy's ass, but we're going to do it in a spooky setting. With a spooky lady next to us. <gasps> Everything's spooky! <laughs> so he's about ready to punch us, but we can see it coming. Now! It's time to make a decision. Oh, wow. Kill or be killed. <laughs> the old death mark uh, text how, comes how, up. How, sh how should we hit him? Punch in the face. That'll work. Yeah. <laughs> I was waiting for a death mark text to come up saying survive just jam your fist into his nose and jam his bones into his brain mm -hmm. oh that, that worked gotta wash my hands though it kind of smells <laughs> paunchy All right, no. It's time for the name. Oh, we can remember. name ourselves this time, too? I remember last year, <laughs> I, we went with the real Slim Shady, but I'm not going to do that this year. I'm going to I'm gonna go completely legit because your name also affects other characters' names because you got, like, you know, a cousin and an aunt in this in this one. Oh, so God. I gotta, I, so I got to go with something that, you know, could fit. So I'm going to go completely legit here. All right, here goes. Nickelback. So, last name, here we go. Uh, let's see, I'm gonna... Uh, for all you uh, My Hero Academia guys, I'm gonna go ahead and uh, make it... No way. U-A. Yeah. U-A. I think it means hero in Japanese. No, that'll work. So yeah, U-A. That sounds pretty good. Alright, now for the first name. Uh, it's going to be... U-A da hero. <laughs> <laughs> what? His name is NWA. <laughs> Perfect. I, I hate you. Straight out of H City. Crazy <laughs> motherfucker named N Double. <laughs> I, I can't tell you how proud I am of that. <laughs> I was thinking, oh, what's it going to be? Is it going to be Mathers? You know, Marshall Mathers? And I was thinking, no. 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 <laughs> <laughs> so for the rest of the game, we, we will be known as NWA. <laughs> That's so good. <laughs> but the cops are coming. We're going to get the fuck out of here. Mm -hmm. You know. Fuck the police, am I right? Let's go, gothic girl. She's going one way. I'm going to, well... Now we're getting to our crisis choice. This is our survive type thing. If we fuck this up, we will die. Oh, cool. And it'll, it'll be a game over. Well, I don't know if we'll die, but it's going to be definitely a game over. Oh, it doubles so as a stealth game. Awesome. So in Deathmark, we would like pick up worn out talismans to help with, with our security. But here, it's just 1,000 all the way. Survive. The, war the warning showing up. There's two cops in front of the station. And, well, you really don't want to get caught by these guys, so let's just get the fuck out of here, yeah? So what are we going to do? Uh, hide. Run away! Oh. Nice. No, good. Oh. You know, if this guy's based around you, as he's running away, he'd be like, It's time to run away! <laughs> I 
There's only one cop coming towards us. He's easy enough to run uh, to want to run away from. Oh, hey guys. <laughs> hey, salary men, become a distraction for me. He went back for seconds with the horsey sauce. <laughs> we got to get him to a hospital. Mm, just straight ketchup. Inject it into my veins. What if that French dip is a good hangover cure? So there's a concrete wall here. This would probably get us out of danger. Time to relive my YouTuber days. Parkour! Parkour! Oh my god, he is! <laughs> so, uh... He may look like me, but he is not acting like me. I can... It's like, oh, four meters! Oh, uh, well... Uh... Anybody got a rope or a ladder or something? Oh, hey, a two-foot-high wall. Uh, well, you know, I, I've got stuff to do later. <laughs> Again, if this was you and you were able to do parkour, they could hear on the rooftops, Parkour! 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 <laughs> I'm like, Spider-Man, call me Peter Parkour! And then down to the alleyway, It's Spider-Man! Give me good pictures! <laughs> so if we're really scared, if, you know, it's like, Oh my god, I can't do this, I gotta go back to load another save. We can load, I guess. Oh, okay. Well, that was our first episode of NG. You'll see you next time. No, you no, wish. No, no, no. You no. wish. We're gonna have huge, long, chonky episodes. Strap in, ladies and gentlemen. Well, this is our Aunt Natsumi. See, Natsumi Yue, it wouldn't have made sense if I called her Natsumi Mathers. Well, it's a mixture of uh, Japanese and US culture. Well, she owns the Black Rabbit Bar here. That never gets any customers. But she's uh, really a, an accomplished horror novelist. Excuse me, did you say horror? Horror. Horror, okay. You know, I'm kind of glad these uh, Spirit Hunter games aren't voiced, otherwise, we'd have N Double Coon. <laughs> ah, N Double San! <laughs> I mean, there's a couple of voice clips here, but it's not, like, completely it's, voiced. Yeah, it's, it's just for atmosphere. So this is Ami, our uh, cousin-slash-kid sister, sort of, you know. Alright. So yeah, our parents died in something or other, and uh, Aunt Natsumi has all but adopted us. Did they die because of the ghosts? Nah, it's just some accident, I think. Caused by ghosts? They have a nervous disposition, and they died via jump scares. Attack the child. <laughs> so the way that things are set up, you know, we have an apartment of our own, but she always, she's always asking, why don't you come live with us? Why don't you come live with us? And we're like, nah, we don't want, you know, it's just, uh, you know, it's not, no, no, no thanks, no thanks. I make enough money to, to be all right on my own. But every so often, Ami comes over and we hang out and she, she enjoys our company, you know. Wholesome brother-sister relationship. So also what we have here is judging. What? Whenever uh, something happens, we can uh, judge something. Oh. There, there are five expressions. Really pissed off, perturbed, neutral, happy, and ecstatic. And it, it really has no bearing on the plot, but it just kind of puts you into the shoes a bit more. So, <laughs> all right, yeah, I'll take, I'll take a hand. Yeah, no problem. Yeah, and they react to whatever your uh, whatever ex your expression is. So, just just something to to really kind of get you into the story a bit more. See, I'm glad you're playing this now because I just would have been extremely pissed off the entire time. <laughs> hey, uh, can you pick up some milk at the supermarket? Ah, come fucking on! milk! Oh, why? Gah! Two o three up there. That's our apartment. Oh, Let's move down a couple doors and we'll find Tifa's apartment. Yeah, yeah, it would be, wouldn't it? 
but I mean, I'm, I'm just fresh out of high school almost, you know. What the heck? Don't open the paper. Piece of black, it's a postcard. What could this be? Wish you were here, love mom and dad. What the hell? Yoink. Hmm. A black postcard. What could it be? What could it say? It's addressed to us. Hmm. Oh. Let's see. Once Princess Kaguya returned to the moon, she said, Labamit's Pabule. What does this mean? Labamit's Pabule? Baphomet's Parlay. It's a, so it's a riddle. Uh, I've played it before, so obviously I, I, I get it. I, I know exactly what that means. <laughs> Would have loved It's just like. Uh, I mean, I know it, but uh, do you know it? It's the contents of a fairy tale. See, your, your study in college is actually coming in handy. It's one of the most famous Japanese uh, fairy tales. It's Princess Kaguya and the Bamboo Cutter. Well, unfortunately, Bamboo Cutter doesn't work in that scrambled mess, so... Are you sure? Well, hold on. Well, it wouldn't be Cutter. It would probably be their name. Ami gets it. Princess Kaguya from the Tale of the Bamboo Cutter, right? Bamboo and cut. So cut out bamboo. Oh. What does that say? Let's play. Oh, good lord. It's a let's play! <laughs> this is probably the only reason you decided to do NG this year, isn't it? That's the only reason. It's like, oh, it's a let's play, I gotta do it! <laughs> oh my god! No matter how long his episodes are. <laughs> He's played through 15 minutes of it, got to this point, and it's just like, dude! Oh well, it's probably nothing. Nothing, I just forgot to buy bamboo to cut out. And you walk in and your aunt is dead! Ah! <laughs> if that were the case, I wouldn't be playing this this year. <laughs> yeah. So Hamburg steak with potato salad. Ooh. Delicious. Finally some good fucking food. Put two slices of bread around Ami's face. What are you? <laughs> put er, put a pie crust on her. What are you? Um, um, a cutie pie! <laughs> Got some swanky music playing in our apartment. Damn. Uh, yeah. So I know for a fact that it's almost August. Oh boy. Does this entire does this entire game take place during October? Um, no. Oh, okay. We don't have a TV. Alright, so the next side quest is to go dumpster diving with Ami. None of your business! Duh. Somebody's at the door. Hmm, who could it be? You open the door and it's PewDiePie saying, LET'S PLAY! Hmm. Nobody there. You know what? That's the better scenario. Hmm. 
<laughs> is it a guest? No, it's a ghost. Or is it a ghast? Oh, that. But you, but you get the gist. She's getting so God. distraught from somebody know. pushing the doorbell. <laughs> all right, all right. Okay, I mean, sure. Oh no, just our jerkwad best friend. <sighs> Alright. It was just a prank, dick. What's up, Yosuke? This is Amanome. Seiji Amanome. Little shit. <laughs> oh no. She knows who he is. That's not good. No, we've been, like, friends forever, so oh, this okay. is... this is ordinary. <laughs> Every time your name comes up, it's hilarious. <laughs> I could do with any of those. I, I should have punched him. <laughs> postcard? What do you mean? Damn it. So he didn't do the postcard either, hmm. Man, that would have been a good one. She's like, oh, hey, I put a haunted postcard at your doorstep. Hope you don't mind. So we gotta talk about what happened earlier. Because remember he mentioned the Amanome family? Oh. So uh, we gotta discuss some business. Nata de Coco late. So, basically, coffee and milk. Some weird coffee. So we're pretty badass. We punch a Yakuza goon in the face, and then the son of the boss comes out to apologize to us. Oh. Sorry, I'm a bit slow today. I didn't even put two and two together. Well, that's why I'm here. To help you connect the dots. By the way, do you need to know the first game to play this one? Uh, no. Okay. You do not need to know the first game to play this one. Although there is one slight cursory connection to, to Deathmark. And there's a few, um... There's, there's a few, uh, you know... Easter eggs and references here and there. Okay. Another but, thing... I know th but I know that you people at home have already seen my Death Mark Let's Play, haven't you? Of course you have. You should. It's spooky. Yeah, spooky scary. And it's got spiders. Terrible. It's got about everything you could you could ever be afraid of. <laughs> Actually, uh, wasn't NG the first one to pick up the Spirit Hunter marker? Because Deathmark yep. was originally released as Deathmark, not it was just, Spirit yeah. Hunter. It was just Deathmark, and then NG came out, and then Axis was like, well, wait a minute, we can't call a game NG, that'd be impossible. So it's really called Spirit Hunter NG. Like how the first game is called Spirit Hunter Deathmark. Mm -hmm. Kind of like how 999 was called Seer Escape by the time the second one came out. That's that's actually really good, otherwise looking up 999 in a search engine would be horrific. So I'm getting a... I'm, I'm getting a word from the peanut gallery that uh, that coffee a lot was uh, not coffee, it's coconut milk. Hmm. Delicious. 
It looks disgusting. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I hate coconut. It was the first time I, I had, like, a, a mounds bar the, uh, the other night. I hate mounds. But I'm thinking, well, it's, it's been years since I had a mounds bar. You know, maybe this time will be different, so... Take a bite into it. And I get the dark chocolates. And, okay, okay. You know, a little bit of dark chocolate. A little bit of the creaminess. And then... I get to the paper flakes that is coconut. Not good. It looks like curdled milk. It's disgusting. Ugh. You weirdo. So we also used to be in an underground fighting ring. That's how we got so much money, because, you know, we have such high instincts, you know. Imagine that, a guy looking like you was part of an underground fighting ring. But we're getting out of it because, you know, been in the business too long. You know, gonna be, you know, going to college or whatever after high school. I got enough money to have to fend for myself. Just want to be alone, you know? <laughs> and I got two weeks left before retirement. It's, it's all gonna be great, and then I'm gonna go hunt ghosts. Ah, hello, Aunt Natsumi. Sage is getting big MILF vibes from her. <laughs> yeah, that's a MILF. Mother, I'd like to flatter. Careful, Sagey, don't go on the internet, otherwise you might be beta cucked. <laughs> I would love it if he also changed his demeanor. Like, he's talking all business with you, and then he goes, Well, hello there, ma'am. That's basically what he's doing. God damn it. He's making it no no secret. <laughs> well, I would love it if your character was in the background just, like, giving him a weird look, because not only did his demeanor change, but also his voice changed. He's like, Oh, madam, please, allow me to walk you home. Now, anyway, about the underground fighting ring. Yeah, sure exactly. you wanna, are you sure you want to get out of it, huh? By the way, thanks for punching out my goon. Wait, you, you weren't supposed to hear that, ma'am. You weren't supposed to hear that, ma'am. You punched our newbie goon. What's wrong with you? I mean, uh, you have gotten into a, a uh, scuffle with one of our associates. And trust me, he's okay. In fact, he doesn't feel anything anymore. What? Okay, anyway. So she gets the real money from the author business, and the bar is more of like, you know, eh, whatever. Kind of reminds me of uh, Knives Out. Fucking love Knives Out. Great film. Wonderful film. Eat shit. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, you have already mentioned to me that this game is a bit of a slow burn. Mm-hmm. And I I need to keep that in the forefront of my mind because I'm always expecting like a big twist right at the beginning to get things kicked off. See, it makes you it, it makes you un you know uneasy because you know this game can be quite spooky scary sometimes. Mm -hmm. But we gotta lay the foundation first. Gotta set up our characters, gotta set up our setting, who we are, who Seiji is, what's going on with Ami and Natsumi, that weird gothic girl we saw earlier. She's gonna be, uh, intersplicing herself into the plot here soon. We gotta, we gotta have some normalcy before we get to the spooky scaries. So let's go to bed. And, yeah. I wish I could do that. Just lay my head on the pillow and immediately fall asleep. So now we're at the end of normal. <laughs> no more normalcy! <laughs> Just put a giant X on normal. No more normal. By the way, I should mention that this game takes place in the year 1999. What? Yeah. Oh, wow. Uh, when did Deathmark take place? 90, Same time? Like, mid-90s, 95, 96. Okay. Maybe even, like, 98, I think. 
Either way, not present day. This bar never gets any customers. She doesn't mind. Excuse me, Natsumi. Can you learn how to make curry and turn this into my fantasy? Thanks. She makes terrible coffee. Damn it! <laughs> Alright, she's nowhere close to coffee, Dad. Never mind. Actually, no, she makes great coffee. Damn. You're throwing me for a loop here, son! <laughs> I am the unreliable narrator! <laughs> I, I think you have the same type of omnipotence as that one episode of Bugs Bunny where he's controlling the pencil and erasing Daffy Duck. <laughs> oh, feel the horror of as long a, division uh, homework. Uh, as long ah! as Multiplication in three places. Oh my god. Feel the terror leaking from the screen. And then my YouTube screen just starts dripping blood. Ah! Oh, damn it, all over my desk. Shit. How'd you do that? Ghost blood. Do ghosts bleed? If they want to. Ah, the flashlight. So thanks, she handed us the cursor that we're going to be using for the rest of the game. Okay, that's kind of clever. Wait, I thought this was a new day. It is a new day, but now it's almost over. Wow, that was a long time in the bar. <laughs> There's like construction or whatever on this underpass, so it's really extra dark and spooky and creepy. God, but we gotta I go through. We gotta go through here to get home. I was just thinking, oh man, another horror setup. Nope, just construction work. No ghosts are coming out. We're still in, in the normal. No, this is the end of normal. Yep, flashlight. Yeah. How convenient. Maybe our aunt is pulling the strings. <laughs> Doo -doo. Wow, this flashlight sucks. <laughs> I hate that you gave us a three-syllable name. <laughs> <laughs> Why? <laughs> I don't know. It's just when, when people have to call for us, they go, A-N-double. So now we uh, get our tutorial for investigation mode. Just move around your flashlight and look at stuff. Does it still do the death mark thing where you get like really close to it? Yep, still works the same as Death Note does. Or death. I keep saying Death Note. I meant Death Mark. <laughs> Fuck. I don't even like Death Death Note that much. Zoom in. Ah. So hit that. Coin operated photo ID booth. It's not really uh, the kind of photo booth that she's talking about. It's really for IDs and stuff, but, you know, whatever. Now let's see. Let's do a bit more investigating. Let's look at this pillar and... Oh, a hint coin! <laughs> Ooh, a hidden puzzle. Labambets wow, Pabula... Oh, I've already seen this one. <laughs> this pillar has such great construction. This reminds me of a puzzle. love if she actually narrated her own lines. The ones that you're thinking of. I'm pissed off right now. I may be short and stubborn, but I'm still pissed off. 
He decided not to argue, so he put some coins in the in the machine. Let's get the fuck out of here, come on. Show me that CG. <sighs> Stupid fucking eight-year-old doesn't know how to work a photo booth. <laughs> Come on. You walk in and it has like 17 knobs and levers. It's just... <sighs> what? Uh, Why is this for IDs? Um... Oh, fine. That's adorable. I love his default face is just always, Ah, God, fuck. <laughs> Every time it comes up, I expect to hear a, Arr! Hooray, we got our picture taken. And because it wasn't one of those photo boots, it's really expensive, but whatever. 5,000 yen! Oh, better, be a better be a ghost in the photo. Yes! Whoa! <laughs> okay. Okay. Th this is where I said, yep, yep, doing it next year. Totally awesome. doing it next year. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Yeah 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 yeah. <laughs> oh god. This is what makes the Spirit Hunters games so great. Just, just the nice creepiness. It's it's so artful and just, well, look at oh, yes. Look at your face too. It's different from all the other ones. That means she has really good vision, right? I have 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20 vision. <laughs> <laughs> oh no. That's really scary. Yeah, let's, let's, uh, we can go home now. Yeah, that sounds, that sounds good. Let's go. Come on, come on, come on. Again, just like Deathmark, move the directional buttons, and if you're investi investigating, press B so you can move and shit, and you can see the whole map. Hmm. Oh yeah, so just to make sure, you have played through this entire game, yes? Yes. Okay. So I am still the blind one. And we're going to be going through the good ending. There's a normal ending and a bad ending. But, uh... You should get the game for yourself if you want to see those. Thank God I did! Oop. Flowers have been knocked over. No. Is that supposed to symbolize something, or...? Hmm. There's flowers scattered everywhere, too. So, what's this? I'm gonna stick my hands at the disgusting, nasty, sewer, poopy gutter, and... Well, I guess I can't say no. Get the flowers, put them in the vase. <laughs> Go over to the storm drain. Hiya, N-double! Gosh, shit! And this is t the tutorial on putting flowers back in vases. Basically, use item on thing to make mm -hmm. it do new thing. Check the spirit file to find out how to put flowers back in a vase. What is this, Yu Yu Hakusho? <laughs> you know, I never actually watched that. You haven't? Everybody I've... says I should, and I just have no interest. I stopped watching it around the time they did the second goddamn tournament arc. <laughs> Perfect. Oh, they're withered. Is 
So, uh, yeah. Her friend Yuri got into a, an accident. So high schooler, lived in the same building as, as her and her mom. So whenever she's busy doing the bar and working on, you know, the horror author stuff, she'd hang out with her. But she was hit by a car she was walking home. What the hell? That's not cool. Yeah, I know. Let's price some more, though. I was just, I was just wondering. She's got another friend called Kaudu, who's Yuri's friend. So Ami, Yuri, and Kaudu are all friends together. Ami, Yuri, Kaudu. Wait a minute. If you put all three of their names together, it become the ghost of 10,000 eyes! The headphone she has is a gift from Yuri. We don't talk anymore. Oh, no. Oh, how nice. I had all the names mixed up, son of a bitch. Now I just look like an asshole. She left me with a Turtle Beach headset, and, uh, you know, it broke it within the first day, unfortunately, but I keep it around anyway. Should've got some JBLs if she really cared about you. Proof that my friends suck. Well, uh, let's go get some flowers from this convenience store. Alright, so here's a spirit file. Girl named Yuri done traffic accident, acquainted with Ami and Kaudu, and acquainted with Ami and Yuri Takamura, so that's all we know for now. The spirit file. This is how you can find out about the thing that's trying to kill you. <laughs> so it is Yuri trying to kill us. This is essentially chapter one, after all. Oh yeah, how many chapters are in this one? Seven. Seven chapters, okay. Well, definitely not at a 7-Eleven. No, it's a 7-Mart. An off-brand 7-Eleven. Uh, excuse me. Oh, I love that. Look at all those cigarettes back there. Jesus. So, it's like, what? 10 p.m. or something at this point? I would not want any of their donuts that they got on display. Oh, lord, no. They're probably hard as rocks now. You know how some gas stations even have, like, pre-made sandwiches or preheated sandwiches and they just mm -hmm. sit there all day? Yeah. Ugh. At least keep them in a cooler or something. Still have crusty, dried-out pizza at the end of the day. Oh, God. stores I go to, at least they get rid of their pizza That's at a certain point. New Saw Palmetto Cider. Ooh, I could go for some cider right now. It is getting colder. So there are no flowers here. Well, Yuri also liked donuts, so maybe we could try that. Oh, well. That's okay. Well, Ami, you tried. Yeah, you did. It's 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 all right though. Oh no. 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 Uh, hey. Mitsuru Maruhashi. <laughs> oh. Nobody does the finger thing anymore. That shit went out in, like, the 80s. 
Now people are like, why would we want a finger when money is way better? It's all about the green now. So that knows who we are. He's uh, being a good little Yakuza and showing respect to a friend of the boss's son. As he should. I like how he's all, like, prim and proper now, but he still looks like a thug. <laughs> Having made a really high ponytail before, I wonder how that stuff doesn't just blow right into his face. Oh my god, do we have another idol in this game? We have another idol in this game. Yes! Momo Your torment Kuduse. will never cease! Momo Kuduse. Don't you know who that is? Oh, right, you're a lame who doesn't watch TV. <laughs> the modern day equivalent is you don't know who Captain Sparkles is? Come See, on. I love cynical protagonists in visual novels because, you know, oh, yeah, idols. And he's like, what the fuck is an idol? I, I don't fucking know. It's like, what? Why am I going to waste my life with this shit? Whatever. Because you got a doki doki, dude. She's an occult idol. Ooh. Oh, that's hot. Raise the dead, baby. <laughs> Again, you always look so mad whenever you respond to anything. Sure, especially when it comes to idols. <laughs> so here's a picture of Momo Kuruse. Oh, is it that goth girl? Whoa! God, that's gonna get demonetized. Oh, don't those marks look familiar? Shit! Oh no! Don't worry, <laughs> it's, it's just a pinup, it's a photo shoot concept. And yeah, it is based on Mary. Okay. Well. Meanwhile, Ami's just like, I like the black flower petal she has on her. <laughs> I, I like her... arm. <laughs> Those are some great nails she's got going on right now. Oh, silver hair is her only uh, claim to fame? Sure, in her music. <laughs> Yeah, what about the death marks all over her? See, the thing is that those aren't the actual death marks that we're used to. Right, that, but they look very similar. But if you look on your copy of NG, you'll see that this is the symbol that they're using for for uh, Spirit Hunter Volume 2. This is our special NG mark, I guess. Hmm. What do I think? About what? I don't know, she's alright. <laughs> yeah. Like, j just for once, can't we have like an indie rock band instead of a fucking idol? It's Japan, dude. There's plenty of them! This is technically a weeb game now. So Shisamo, you have finally Pogo dot Stingray? I mean, come on. Oh, you have finally succumbed to the weeb game. I have not! <laughs> <laughs> Their eyes are way too small for it to be a typical weeb game. <laughs> yeah, this is a more realistic style. I really do like the art style though. Oh, uh, I do too. I, lo I love these more realistic, you know, drawings and all that. I it's love the, it's the, it's the how, only reason why I suffered through root letter. I love how that pinup was on there for a good like seven minutes, <laughs> and and we couldn't go back to like this screen or something like that. It's like, hey, I know this game is spooky scary, but uh, take a look at this Mary lookalike. If you ever wanted to ogle a doll, there you go.
I was too busy looking at idol pinups. I'm not into this, he says as he stares intently at the, <laughs> at the, at the pinup. <laughs> as he stuff. walks out, he's still looking at the pinup. He's like, I gotta go talk to the boss. Duh. Uh, yeah, so... No flowers, we'll, we'll stop by somewhere tomorrow or something to do it go, so... Let's head back to the apartments, go back home, call it a day. Wander rabbits. You're gonna hear this uh, motif throughout the rest of the game. Your singing is not exactly convincing me. <laughs> yeah, she said it as our phone ringtone. Whoa, hold on. When did you. Reminds me of like a person about to steal from a house. <laughs> he had the black gloves and everything. Oh yeah, so that way it doesn't hurt when he punches people. Oh, you only use your phone for messages and calls. That is such a mood end double. Hey, in ninety nine, that's all I use my cell phone for. Did I even have a cell phone at that point? <laughs> I don't think so. I think I got my first one in, like, 2002? Yeah, it's about when I got mine, too. Hey, don't think I don't notice those tissues down there. Oh my god, this is a weeb game! You tricked me! ha <laughs> Favor? What? Oh. Uh. Do you want to get flowers at the shrine? Uh. Specifically a shrine. Interesting. Not, not far from the station. Big part. Plenty of trees. You already said a lot of flowers. Okay. I don't see why not. Could manage to do that. Sure. No, I don't mind at all. Let's do it. <laughs> the words above the portraits were still judging, so I thought you were actually judging her. <laughs> <laughs> just stares intently into her eyes, like, hmm. <laughs> beneath the glasses, she can see your eyes wide as dinner plates, as you have, you still have, like, the, the teeth clenched look. What? What's your angle, kid? <laughs> I just want to pick flowers for my dead friend. Oh, somebody else is here. Oh, cool. Another crank collar. Or, sorry, door dasher. Uh, look into the peephole and... Oh, it's just an Aunt Natsumi. Hi! Do you, do you need money? You always wear the same thing every day. Mom, you're back! Hey, check out this picture of me with a million eyes! So, all right, we got a plan. Tomorrow we're gonna go to the Yamato Shrine, we're gonna pick some flowers, put them in the vase, and, uh, you know, appease Yuri with that. It'll be great, it'll be a good time, and it'll be, it'll be fine. It'll be fine, right? It'll be fine. It'll be, it'll it's be fine. It's never that easy. It is never that easy. It'll especially when we're going fine. to a shrine. It will be fine. It'll be fine. We're gonna have to fight Yuri. And it's gonna be sad. It will be fine! She's gonna hate the flowers. It, it's gonna be bad. No, 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 no. It'll be fine. We're already being haunted by her. It'll be fine! Well, 
Because it's gonna be fine, let's hit the sack. <laughs> Absolutely fine. Nothing could possibly go wrong. So next time on NG, we're gonna go to Yamato Shrine, get some flowers, and everything will be fine. I promise, it'll be fine. Bullshit. It'll be fine. It'll be fine? It'll be fine. See you next time.